as long as he remains uh, injury free, you know, uh, that's held him late and back for the last few years or so. And uh, his form so far has, has showed that he's really healthy and uh, enjoying the competition. So, uh, you know, I think with a bit of luck and uh, a lot of good play in Melbourne, he's, he's going to do well in the Australian Open. I think Hewitt is the same as Federer. I mean, they enjoy the competition uh, and they enjoy playing tennis. Uh, and there's no reason uh, why Roger won't, won't win another major. Uh, but uh, he, he has his work cut out because, you know, I think considering everything, he's not playing quite as well as he was some years ago. Well, if they do play quicker, I think that's a good idea. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, probably if you took a consensus of people watching tennis, they might say the matches are too long. And that's because there are too many baseline rallies. The, the players are just too good uh, from the back of the court. Uh, we've seen that in Melbourne and in other places, certainly long five set matches. Uh, you know, they, they can take quite a bit of time. So if the courts play a bit quicker, I think it's going to be the advantage of a lot of players. So Djokovic has proved that he's got a, a pr pretty good uh, staying record uh, with the tournaments that he's won and he's very strong physically and uh, uh, he has a good record against all of the other players. So I, I think you'd have to favour him. I'm, I'm a Federer fan, so I'd like to see Roger win another major and I think uh, if, he, if he gets uh, confident from winning his first few matches, you know, I think that's gonna, going to help.